meteorologist Max Legano. Well, a very good Friday evening across Southwest Louisiana again, where, yeah, it's still definitely a very warm to even hot one outside early on. And until the sun goes down, it's going to remain that way. Here's a look at our temperatures across Southwest Louisiana. And check this out. Even the immediate coastline in Cameron is up to 92 degrees. That's one of the hottest readings we've seen at that location today. And that's the power of the dry air in place where it basically makes sure all of our locations here have very similar temperatures. 91 is what we're reading over in Jennings. The 93 at Fort Johnson is the hottest location on the map, but not that there's a very big difference at all right there. The other impact of that drier air we have in place is just the fact that our radar is very quiet. We saw it a few minutes ago with not a lot of rain around, if any. And we also don't have a lot of cloud cover across southwest Louisiana, which is doing a good job of keeping things very warm outside right now. And we'll continue to do so at least throughout the early part of the evening. Now, once the sun goes down, we'll start to see both the feels like temperatures and the heat and in, in the actual temperatures. Both of those will begin to fall until that point, though. It is going to remain very warm, so just keep that in mind for any outdoor plans you may have. Maybe you're going to movies under the stars until 8 o'clock. It's going to remain very warm. Now, after that, again, these numbers will begin to fall. Both the feels like temperature and the temperature itself will probably be near 70 degrees north of I-10, probably into the mid-70s along the interstate itself. And then we warm up very quickly again tomorrow afternoon thanks to a lot of sunshine and maybe some slightly higher humidity levels as winds begin to shift more to a southerly direction if that happens we could see the heat index near or maybe a degree or two above the 100 degree mark so continue to stay hydrated and cool the best you can if you have plans to be outdoors this model here also unlike today shows maybe the idea of an isolated sprinkle or light shower trying to develop by the late afternoon hours but even if that happens and i have my doubts it just would be very isolated and not amount to much so while i can't fully rule that out i don't think rain is looking like a big deal tomorrow however rain chances are going to start to increase as this high pressure begins to slide off to the east we will see more tropical moisture begin to arrive in southwest louisiana for sunday father's day that could trend that trend could start what i mean by that is we could see a few pop-up showers or thunderstorms but right now we're not expecting a washout you may just want to keep an eye to the sky anyways i think by monday and tuesday of this upcoming week though you will start to see that disturbance move a little bit closer and thus we'll have a greater chance for seeing some showers and thunderstorms, maybe even towards Wednesday as well. Now, just how widespread the rain becomes will ultimately depend on the tropics, where we're still watching the Bay of Campeche as that disturbance moves closer for the potential of some development next week. As we talked about the past few days, though, indications still remain. Even if a tropical depression or storm were to form, it likely head westward into Mexico. And honestly, if it does and becomes organized, that may be a bit of a good break of news for us because that could mean moisture becomes more centered over the Bay of Campeche rather than here and would potentially reduce our rain chances since we don't need that much more rain. The bottom line here, it's going to be another hot one tomorrow. Then we start to watch those rain chances increase by Monday and Tuesday. If there's a bit of good news though, we could be talking about 80s for high zen instead of 90s. I like the sound of that, Morgan. I do too. I also like the sound of no uh, no storms. So let's just let's just keep them uh, keep them away, Max. Okay, I'll try my best. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. The Biden administration is proposing.